In this video, we're going to be talking about Battlefield 1 and its performance on Crossovers 21 nightly build on the M1 Max. So just kind of looking into it, I was able to turn the FPS settings on with the Origin overlay. And for the most part, I was getting around 60 FPS. So like with any other crossovers game or even on parallels, since it is a translation layer on top, a lot of times you get stuttering or lag when you're first loading. So actually on this setting, which was the lowest setting, it, you can see here, we're getting 100 FPS in the campaign, tagging everyone here. Um, unfortunately, during this um, quick recording, I forgot to turn on desktop capture, but if you want to figure out how to do that, I made a guide earlier in my channel so you can check out how to record desktop audio. Um, but personally, you can see, you know, from this gameplay footage, there are drops to 40 as I'm moving around and whatnot. But as things load, we are kind of fine doing that. And also keep in mind, this is in windowed mode. But if you look at the top status bar, you could be monitoring throughout this video the temperatures and the RPM fans. So, um, you know, sometimes it was hitting 120 frames per second, but sometimes, you know, in most gameplay, it's at 50. But we can see here bumping up to 50, uh, medium, it still stays kind of stable at 50 FPS. All right, so now we're going to bump up the settings to high. So FYI guys, the reason why some of this is, seems to kind of be not an in-depth, I will be creating other content on in-depth native review and triple A titles. Is that the Brave won the fucking World Series? So I gotta go to the parade, let's fucking go. Anyways, <laughs> we still get around 52 FPS. You can see that the graphics performance is way better. So I would say from my perspective on this the campaign is definitely playable you'll get some lag you know stutters here and there uh, but you can see here headshot boom headshot let's go get on the horse kill everyone else um, so this is kind of late into the campaign if you guys are buying <laughs> you can see that that stuttering right there um, besides those like little freeze ups and hangs there's actually no way that i think the m1 max will ever get over that um, because of the way that metal render uh, handles. Um, so for some perspectives, there's lots of people on forums and Reddit describing what's happening. And basically on the layer, you have to reload the shaders every time. So you're going to get stutters like that every time. But once everything is up and running, you should be good to go. Lastly, this last check, we're going to bump everything up to ultra gameplay. Um, so this was just a native resolution that came out, was windowed and whatnot. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you see that it still gets around 45 FPS. Everything still looks really good. So this is on the M1 Max 32 core, just to remind everyone. Um, so just easy kills right here. Pick up this, whatever this is, M1 Garen. Try to snipe some people. Um, I definitely think if you are trying to play some AA titles, it looks like Crossovers is just on a hiring spree trying to get their compatibility up. And I wouldn't be surprised if later you see eventually developers, you know, launching their anti-cheat on ARM so you can play Valorant and stuff of that nature. But besides that, um, you know, I think that with this new Crossovers Nightly build, or some of these top Origin games can play, like Titanfall, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, all this. Um, and so later you'll see I'm about to jump over you can see that there is some um, multiplayer um, <laughs> technically you'll see in the video so during this part while I am trying to load into the 
multiplayer game, you could see that there is a temp check, so it was 70, not that bad RPM, so all things are going smoothly. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm having hiccups, because I'm getting ready for this parade, let's go. So I don't know if the amount of players would impact this probably with the shaders and stuff of that nature once it loads the first time, but there was just one person versing me, which is Braham. Um, so I kind of left the full thing so you get to see how it interacts with the menu, right? So we're seeing some stuttering here, a lot of stuttering actually on this multiplayer, um, but these settings are on ultra still. Um, so I'll do more testing. This is, an this is an impressions. I was literally going to change it to like medium settings, but <laughs> we look what happens when I'm driving actually just crazy stuttering just i don't even know what's going on you're watching a powerpoint screenshot going on here um <laughs> so uh i'll do further testing on how this works I, like i said i'm uploading this video i gotta go to the braves parade it, it's time to just go buck ham buck wild uh, but for people who are on this channel like the way i review things or subs and people commenting um i thought this was cool because i saw on mac gaming that you know Battlefront 2, the new one, is actually playable. And so I was like, well, if that's playable, let me see what else is playable. So Apex Legends still doesn't launch from the origin, but I have Battlefield 4, I have Battlefield 1. Um, so I, I, I don't, I'm not sure off the top of my head if Battlefield 2042 is out yet. Um, but guys, this is like triple A titles. <laughs> see here, we're frozen. But anyways, guys, like, sub, smash that like button, share this to your mom. Um, you know, let's go Braves. See you guys at the parade if you're in Atlanta. Let's get it.